All praise due unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekak, Vadash, the bonds, the apostles of great most home. Peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. This is just a short lesson. Um, don't really have nothing planned. Gonna see where the spirit's gonna, gonna see where the Rekak, Vadash is gonna guide. But um, this is gonna be based off of this scripture, Isaiah 60 and 1. Arise and shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Right? So the you know, as a hopeful member of the elect, you know, we're we're awakened, you know, to our nationality, knowing who we were, knowing who we are. Alright, because uh you know our nationality our uh, birthright our heritage was stolen from us right because we have sinned against his heavenly father you know and uh you know against his son as well and uh you know ultimately this is why we are under the curses according to Deuteronomy uh 28 verse 15 to 68 we are bombarded with all kind of different plagues and uh you know and we're being ruled by our oppressors we're we're being ruled by uh people you know who uh worship all types of different entities and uh spirits you know who uh you know who's who run this world you know um, for behold the darkness is covered it says for behold the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people for the Lord hath ar arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee right? so uh, the whole earth is under darkness you know and uh, we know uh, with Esau with his technology and stuff what they're doing you know uh, they have this thing called the CERN, you know, and uh, you know they're doing all types types of experiments, you know, um, certain parts of the Earth, and they're you know they're actually opening portals, you know, into different constellations, you know, and they're uh, because this is why uh, you know the serpent, which is E, this is what he practiced, you know, uh, witchcraft. You know, and uh, also, uh, you know, to, uh, you know, of you know, the knowledge of, uh, I'm gonna get it. Alright. Genesis 3 and 1. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord Power had made. So he wasn't actually a serpent. Right, this is a man. Alright. And, um, you know, uh, you know, this would be uh, E, you know, the wicked, you know, or uh, the serpent, right? Who, uh, who beguiled, uh, who beguiled Eve, you know, and made Adam to eat, you know, of the uh, tree of uh, good and evil because Adam was, uh, was to be perfect, right? But we fell and, um, uh, what these people practice, they practice, uh, you know, occultism and, uh, you know, astrology, you know, um, tarot cards and, uh, you know, reading the heavens and stuff. And, uh, you know, and that was given, you know, onto uh, certain tribes like uh, Zebulon, you know, with uh, the Aztecs and also, uh, a lot of the explorers, you know, prior to uh, Esau colonizing us, you know, here in the West, you know, our people were uh, explorers, you know, throughout the world. So we had uh, the maps, you know, what they have now with this whole uh, that GPS and all that. This is nothing new, right? It says uh, there is nothing new under the sun, right? So, um, you know, but... Uh, you know, um, all these 
stuff what uh, these people practice with uh, you know eat, you know the Egyptians was doing the same thing you know the Babylonians you know the mystery school of Bob you know that the mystery uh, like teaching of Babylon you know this is the same stuff what they practice and uh, that's why Hawashai you know our savior is gonna uh, stand up you know for us because uh, we're being bombarded by plagues by spirits now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord power had made and he said unto the woman yea ye have yea have God ye um, yea have God said so okay, I'm gonna read that again and he said unto the woman yea have God said our power said ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden you know and this is what these people they were you know practicing you know um, you know the serpent you know because uh, the serpent you know he had knowledge of uh, you know the consolation and all that which we're gonna get that you know on the right hand side you know in full full scope you know um, you know because all cultures they have that whole uh, they practice that whole uh, thing with the whole uh, with the whole uh, basically uh, you know with this with this with the uh, um, like with the zodiacs and all that is uh, you know all cultures they're practicing it you know but uh, you know we're gonna have the full uh, scope you know of uh, everything you know and then the Lord said uh, in my father's house there are many mansions all right so uh, I don't want to go too in depth because it's kind of uh, very uh, vast and um, certain things certain knowledge you know we're not gonna have you know because uh let's get a quick quick scripture job 28 verse 31 all right because this was uh job you know he was uh the heavenly father was speaking to uh you know to job you know, because Job was, you know, catching hell. He didn't understand what was going on. But this was the Heavenly Father trying Job. You know, like how we're Job. You know, we're being tried, you know. We're in that same spirit, you know. Uh, you know, what's going on and why uh, things are happening. Canst thou not... Job uh, 38 verse 31. Canst thou bind the sweet influence of the it says canst thou bind the sweet influence of the Pleiadians or loose the bands of Orion you know so this is their you know these are um, um like you know that um, like these are um like different constellations you know okay Plebeians. All right. So the plebeians, right? So uh, Kaya, Kai, Kaima, Kaima, plebeians. Uh, counts living on seven stars. You know, clusters of stars. You know, you could do your own research and stuff. Uh, Orion, which is uh. Kasial, a Kasal, constellation Orion, constellation of stars. You know, this is what the serpent, you know, was uh, was teaching uh, Eve. You know, and basically, uh, he was made very or Eve was made very wise, right? And basically, she she used that knowledge. You know to Adam and um, you know Adam you know 
you know he uh you know he uh followed after the woman you know and he learned a lot of the knowledge of the the heaven the constellations and uh, the signs you know to be able to read and to understand you know because uh you know in the lord's past past life as solomon you know he was uh involved into uh you know he had knowledge of a lot of things you know the lord blessed him you know um let's get it Um, Solomon, this is First Kings three and six. And Solomon said, "Thou hast showed unto thy servant, my father, great mercy, according as he walked before thee in truth and in righteousness." Right. So, like how King David, you know, he was a man who was upright, you know, in the presence of the Lord, even though, uh, you know, he committed adultery with, uh, you know. You know with another man's wife you know and he basically uh you know he slew the uh, he slew like he slew you know like he slew the riot the hitchite you know and then Bathsheba, you know um she had a child and but she you know th that child died and basically um uh, you know she had another child and he was solomon right so basically um uh, you know after that you know david uh he was plagued you know you know because he had his different sons who was unruly towards him we were going through different wars you know with uh you know with the different uh empires like uh, Am uh ammon you know some of the canaanites moab you know the elamites you know were being he was being plagued on all sides you know but uh you know but the lord he uh he punished him but he had mercy on david right and this is what the lord's gonna do again to his servants you know um the men of the house of david you know the tender mercies of david according as he had walked before thee in truth and righteousness and in the uprightness of heart with thee and thou has kept for him the great kindness that thou hast given him a son to sit on his throne as it is this day right so uh we're still under that you know that you know like that covenant because hebrews 8 and 8 you know that we're gonna get that new covenant you know where the law is gonna be in us and uh you know and the lord yeah you know is gonna crown his elect and uh you know set up a proper uh empire let's keep reading and thy servant and thy servant is in the midst of thy people which thou hast chosen a great people that cannot be numbered nor counted for a multitude right so you know that this is why uh we're gonna read you know what solomon you know he was begging the heavenly father for give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge the people that thou may discern between the good and bad all right so good and bad and uh you know that's what solomon he was uh he prayed for the lord for you know like to have discernment between the good and the bad all right because uh, we know that Solomon or Yahawashai, you know, when he came on the throne or when he came, uh, you know, over 2000 years ago, you know, as he, as Jesus or Yahawashai, you know, he had to go through all kinds of affliction. All right. Because uh, what he did in his past life. So let's keep reading as this and the speech pleased the Lord. And this, and that Solomon had asked this thing, and the 
And Yahweh said unto him, Because thou hast asked this thing, and hast not asked for thyself a long life, neither hast thou asked for riches for, for thyself, nor hast asked for thy life of thy enemies, but hast asked for thyself understanding and discernment and judgment. Alright, so like you know like that's why we wanna have that you know, that same uh mindset, you know, like not to uh you know you know that the best thing to ask for, you know, when you're uh, you know, when you're praying to the Heavenly Father, you know, is ways that's gonna improve you. You know, we're not supposed to be asking for uh, vanity, you know, we wanna ask for proper discernment and judgment. You know, and that's what Solomon did. And we're gonna read about uh, we're gonna read about this lock here. One second. Because uh, you know, King Solomon, you know, uh, he was very knowledgeable, right? That's why the Lord he blessed him, you know, so abundantly, you know, a lot of wealth. He had over uh, 700 wives, 300 concubines, and uh, he had, you know, a lot of wealth, and you know, because the Lord blessed him, all right, and he was following the laws. But until he got, uh, he got, he got deceived, or uh, he started following, you know, the ways of these different, uh, of the, his wives, you know, because they're worshiping all kind of different uh, spirits. And so that, you know, that seduced him, you know, and that's why he built a lot of uh, altars unto his, his wives. And was doing all kinds of stuff. Stuck at Wisdom of Solomon 7. And uh, we'll leave. One second. I believe it's Wisdom of Solomon 7. Like this again, wisdom of Solomon, uh, verse 7, verse 17. For ye have given me certain knowledge of things that are namely to know how the world was made and the operation of the elements. So we know that Yahweh Shai, you know, he's the you know, the principal spirit, you know, and he's uh, you know, he's the first spirit, you know, of creation. I'm gonna get it. All right. I believe it's Colossians one and I believe twenty one. Yeah, first uh, Colossians uh, fifteen. Who is the image of the invisible power and the firstborn of every creature? You know, so Yahweh Shai, he has that dominion. He's above all principalities, angels, you know. He's uh, you know, he's on the right hand, you know, side of the throne, you know. And uh, you know, he's the one who's uh you know, who's our king, yeah, right? and he's uh our mediator. You know, and uh, he's over all principalities, you know, angels and all that. Who is the image of the invisible power and the firstborn of every creature? For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions, principalities, powers, and things that were created by him and for him so all these things you know was created by the heavenly father right so these different you know things in the constellation the sky you know different uh you know principalities on the right hand it's like a principalities on the left hand you know and, and you know and principalities on the right hand which are you know like the righteous angels right so um you know so these people you know 
here in this you know what they do now with uh the CERN and stuff they're 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 really summoning portal spirits you know into this realm all right so it says that uh let me get get that too all right six but i'm gonna go back to this scripture wisdom of solomon 7 verse 17 for he hath given me certain knowledge of the things that are namely to know how the world was made and the operation of the elements right because you know adam was the first one you know to uh let's get it you know he's the one who named you know all the different animals creatures you know Because the, you know, the whole creation story, you know, this is, uh, you know, it wasn't a, a big, big bang, you know, this was the heavenly father and his son, you know, who uh, sent, you know, the angels, you know, to, uh, you know, you know, to build, you know, this whole uh, world that we live in now, you know, Genesis 1. It goes into that you know and um uh, i'm gonna keep going wisdom of psalm 7 verse 17 for he hath given me certain knowledge of the things that are namely to know how the world was made and operation of elements the beginning and the ending and the middle of the times right the middle ages you know we were in power you know the the whole, whole beginning is the alpha and omega you know the beginning and the end so he's he's still you know you know on his throne you know and uh he's gonna come down and uh he's gonna establish order you know on this earth because this earth is out of out of order man we're seeing what they're doing you know they're really uh doing all kinds of things man portals you know esau is uh doing all kinds of things in uh in darkness man you know the alteration of the turning of the sun and the change of seasons you know the circuits of the years the position of the stars you know so uh solomon adam you know he was uh, given this you know and uh we're gonna be that you know that we're gonna have that same uh you know when the lord comes and establishes his kingdom and uh, with his elect you know we're gonna we're gonna be as gods man we're gonna know everything man and uh we're gonna uh you know rule in righteousness not in wickedness the nature of living creatures and the fury of wild beasts the violence of the winds the reasoning of men the diversities of plants and the virtues of roots and all such things are either in secret or manif manifest them i know so this was solomon man solomon was on a high level right but he what he got uh you know he got uh you know like he got persuaded you know by uh you know by these women who because uh, he was building temples you know onto these uh onto his wives you know and uh you know and our people are still doing that you know that that whole uh this whole stuff you know so uh let's go yeah so job Job 38, 32. I don't want to go over over anybody's head. I don't want to, you know. But um, 
you know the heavenly father you know this is how the heavenly father set up this story right and uh there's certain things that we're not gonna know and we're not gonna uh, until when the lord's gonna uh he's gonna give his elect you know that knowledge again you know of the tree of life you know uh job 38 verse 31 canst thou bind the sweet influence of the like of Pleiadians and loose of the band of Orion, canst thou bring forth Madarif in his season? All right, with the whole constellation. All right, so uh, this whole earth is run off of you know the calendars, you know, the constellation, you know, and we know, you know, like this is what Esau practices, you know, all kind of different deities, you know. Um, you know, um, Saturn, Mars, you know, all these different uh, planets or these constellations that they worship, you know? But, uh, you know, but we're gonna have that righteousness on the right-hand side because, uh, you know. Canst thou bring forth manner in this season? Canst thou guide Archerif in with his season? Knowledge knowest thou the ordinance of heaven? Canst thou set the canst thou set the dominion thereof in the earth? Canst thou lift up the voice to the clouds that the abundance of waters all right, may be covered? Alright. Alright. So the um like the mind what you mean like the waters you know so uh the heavenly father yahweh yahweh Shai, he understands this is his creation you know uh, and his son you know canst thou sing send lightnings canst thou go you know because uh you know even when the lord was on the scene you know he was doing all kinds of miracles and they call them, you know, like they call them Beelzebub, all right? Which means, uh, you know, basically, you know, like they're saying that he was like a, a, a warlock, you know, but these Pharisees was into that type of stuff, all right? And our people are still in that, you know? So there's nothing new under the sun. Then Matthew uh, 24. Is it Matthew 10? I have a whole uh, thing. It's Matthew, uh, okay, 12, verse 24. Matthew uh, 12. Matthew 12, verse 22. Then how, then was brought up unto one possessed with a devil, blinded a dumb, blind and dumb, and he healed him insomuch that the blind and dumb both spoke and saw right so the lord you know when he was on the scene he was healing people you know but the pharisees you know like they seen his power you know but you know but you know but they were jealous of him you know and uh, basically um you know because the pharisees was doing all kinds of stuff in secret all right, so we're gonna keep reading. And all the people were amazed and said, "Is not this the son of David?" All right, because uh, you know, because uh, you know, because Mary and Joseph, you know, they, you know, because they know that the Lord He came out of uh, the house of David, right? So, so they knew. And they all were amazed and said, "Is not this the son of David?" But when the pharisees heard it they uh, said this is a fellow this fellow doth not cast out devil but beelzebub the prince of the devil <laughs> you know you know so you know how our people is man like you know because they knew he had power you know so they were jealous of him you know and uh you know he was healing people with, with you know like with you know with his sincerity of his heart you know and ultimately you know that like, that's why he was he was crucified you know because of these wicked pharisees man 
all right and uh our people who said our people said let his blood be upon him upon us right you know because they thought that he he wasn't the true messiah right but uh you know the third day you know the lord uh he raised up the lord you know like the lord was risen up again all right and he was in you know he was you know in the coast of uh israel and jerusalem you know i believe uh for like 40 days and then he went up to the cloud right and you read in acts right and uh yahweh knew their thoughts and said unto him every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand and if satan cast out satan how is his if satan cast out satan he is divided against himself how shall then his kingdom stand right because these people these pharisees you know they're a bunch of uh you know con artists and uh, and the people that was uh you know like you know our people were doing secret you know stuffs you know in their temples you know they're worshiping the sun you know they're getting you know and uh that's what's happening now you know our people are gone you know to the dark side you know and if i be that beelzebub casted out devils by whom doth your children cast them out therefore they shall be your judges and if uh and if i can't and if i cast out devils by the spirit of yahweh right so yeah the lord he wasn't casting out devils you know he, he like he wasn't casting out you know like devils onto Satan. he's casting out devils onto the heavenly father right who created you know the whole spirit you know of this realm this heavens then the kingdom of god is come down unto you right so he came down you know and it manifested flesh you know as the representative and his son you know right? even though his, his his father was joseph you know he came he came on he, you know when he was a 12 all right and he was in the you know when he was in the um you know you know um, like when he was in the temple you know he said uh you know when his uh father and mom you know was looking for him you know they said uh you know the lord came and he said you know he, he, he he's he, he's come to do his father's his business man all right so uh you know and this is what we're doing you know we're, you know that like we have that same spirit man so uh or else how canst thou enter into the strong man house and spoil his goods except he first bind the strong man that and then he will spoil his house he is not with me he 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 that is not with me uh, is against me and he that gather not with me scatter for abroad so if you're not if you're not speaking the hundred percent doctrine you know especially right now you know with the whole uh the whole let like the whole karagma the whole mark of the beast all right and you're trying to you're trying to have a whole different narrative you know instead of just talking about what's actually happening you know with the whole you know with the whole cdc system you know with this whole digital system that we're living under and we're approaching you know like you're not even going into the, the like these things you want to talk about oh the mark you know the whole uh the whole mark of the beast is sin it, you know like it's like it's all kind of different shit man so uh he that is not with me is against me and he that is gathered not with me is scattered for abroad right so if you're not if you're not for this truth if you're not calling on the name if you're not telling our people what's to come and you know the lord's not not gonna be dealing with you man all right and you won't be uh you, you like you won't have a rock you know you won't have a rock you know, a rock to stand upon you know like you know like your house is going to be built upon sand all right all right so um with that 
Let the self praise do unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakakwadash, the ones of the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and bless the whole members of the You know, this is just good against evil, man. And, um, you know, it says the earth given to the hand of the wicked, man. So uh, these people, they're really doing all kinds of different things, you know, in secret, you know, with uh, their uh, cultism and. You know, so uh, we got to stay on point and, uh, you know, be, be protected day and night, man, you know, from uh, these entities, man, these spirits, you know. All right, because uh, let me get, get another scripture, Ephesians uh, 6. And? Uh, book, like, yeah. Ephesians 6 verse uh, 10 finally my brethren be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might but put on the whole armor of Yahweh that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil you know so there's a lot of things what they plan you know what they what they plan on doing for this whole year 2023 till you know until uh you know with, until the lord comes you know because it's gonna get a lot more severe and uh, intense man all right because they wanna you know they wanna have the whole uh you know this central digital system you know and uh ultimately with the whole karagma you know and uh you know so there are a lot of different plans and stuff what they're doing you know they're having these summits you know these meetings these uh with these world powers you know at these summits and um they're doing all kinds of things man but we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against rulers of darkness of this world and against spiritual wickedness in the higher places so even people you know who's in uh you know who's high in this society you know that they're being controlled by entities which is which is out of this realm, you know, and they and they and they and they commune, you know, and they uh, they teach them a lot of things, knowledge and certain things, and that's why they have to do a lot of different types of sacrifice, you know, to uh, basically uh, obtain, you know, that whatever they're seeking for, and basically what they're seeking for is a uh, new world order or NWO. All right and uh ultimately that's why the lord he's gonna he's gonna put a halt to it just like how uh, you know with uh genesis uh 10 and 11 you know with uh the tower of babel you know and uh the lord he uh he put a halt to that man all right he confounded the languages of the, uh, you know of these different nations all right because they were all were doing the same thing for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto the whole armor of Yahweh, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. All right, so we're standing firm, you know, uh, we're all being, you know, tried different ways, certain people's fire is the way even hotter or you know you know we're all going to be tried in this furnace of, uh, of adversity man and uh, you know so uh, the most are going to try our hearts to see if we're of gold silver you know or if you're wood you know and that's it Stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth and your having on the breastplate of righteousness. Right? So that's what it is. Right? Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability in that time, right? Isaiah 33 and 6. And that's what's gonna, you know, shield us and protect us, you know, and uh you know, the Lord, he's gonna he's gonna lift up that standard, man, you know, when you have a shy. Know that when the angels come and whatever, certain brothers are gonna have are gonna have power because it's gonna get so bad. You know that the Lord He's gonna have to stand. You know 
when you read uh, like Daniel 12 and 1 goes into that and your feet stood with your and your feet should with the preparation of the gospel of peace all right so the good news above all taking the shield of the faith wherewith you shall be able to quench the fiery darts of the wicked that's what these people you know like they want to quench us you know but you know but they're not going to quench you know his elect man all right so with that, let us all praise it do unto you. How about Shem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Kakadash, the one to the apostles of GMS. Peace of bless the whole from the elect. So with that, let's all praise it do again. And uh, hopefully this video is edifying. Shalom.